Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskell. I'm oh, sorry. Good evening, you. <laughs> uh, last video. It was a, it was funny. Um, welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I am doing a suggestion that was given to me by... Kids, Hold on. Welcome back. Yes. Um, H-E underscore R-N says, try getting uh, gold and green wood the old school way and then in the next video, do long planking to palm. Well, I can tell you right now, long planking to palm ain't gonna happen because there's no long plank that is that long, sir. It's just not happening. Um, now, I've attempted many times, and I've tried many times. In fact, the closest we ever came was I threw a whole bunch of oak trees into the water, and we made like this little jumpy island that went out a good ways, but never came close even getting remotely near any of the islands so that is a big negative um what i can do is show you what to do if you don't have long plank skills and if you don't have um the the bridges and if you, you're really afraid of going up the mountain i'm going to show you the old school way the first way to go and get the uh the wood this is the way that i used to go get it all the time back whenever I had first started and uh, we discovered that there was a new area up there because you couldn't really see it at all. We just knew there were mountains and that was it. So, come over here uh, and this little thing right here, you're going to chop it down. Find one of these trees, okay? And you're going to be like, whack! Whack! Like this. Oh, by the way, a significant warning to all the videos that are going to be coming out this week. I am going to be doing only 15 minute videos. now. Um, with that being said, I am doing other stuff, so I'm trying to get fast at the video. Does that make sense? Probably makes no sense. You're going to have to be able to flip this tree up like this. So holding the shift button and getting the tree just right, I happen to be lucky as all get out that that landed. But you're just going to make yourself a little little path up like this. And off you go. Yay, look where we're at. Do you guys know where we're at? This is the, the little back path. The, the, towards the Savannah, Savannah? Is it Safari, Savannah? Whatever side this is. You know, it's where the walnut is. You're gonna walk up this little path right here. You're gonna walk up this little path over here. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. Why is it taking forever to walk this far? I guess I'm just used to driving it with a car. That's all. Anyhow, during your first discovery of this, like whenever, whenever back in the day before long planking, before uh, all the different methods to get up here, this was an exciting time because you're like, what's, what is this? It's all new. So, trying to figure out the different paths and looking for cave walls and caves, uh, cave doors, things of that nature. So. Is my lighting right? My lighting looks good, I guess. Here we go. Get ready for it. Listen. Listen. Oh, we didn't hit it yet. Maybe when I touch the water? Touch the water. Oh, we're there. We're there. This used to be the scariest thing in the world, but whenever you got over here, you're like, oh my gosh. It's green trees and trees with no leaves. What are these? This was the fun stuff right here because this tree would take forever to chop. I think, wait, hold on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one's faster or which one's uh, more powerful, but I know that we're getting it done. So let's just go ahead and chop this off. Now, something that I had figured out is I would take one of my trucks and I would drop it off. Ooh, that, that gold wood though, that gold wood. I would drop it off over here on the corner. So, let me show you. I found if I take the wood and I go over here to the side and drop it off, it would be a shorter path for me to walk back and forth chopping the wood than it would if I were to walk it all the way back down that path and put it into the truck down at the bottom of the hill right now. So, 
that's what I'm going to show you real quick. We're already five minutes into the video. I only got ten minutes left. Um, like I said, these are going to be quick, fast videos. Still going to be talking about the same thing, you know. Talking about bullies, first days of school, and the anxiety that comes with it. Ugh. Um, if you're in school, as in you're actually going back into the classroom, I wish you luck. I hope that everything goes well. Um, wash your hands, keep your mask on, do all the stuff that you're supposed to do. Anyhow, uh, jump up here like this and make sure that you have a good, good angle because you're going to want to be able to just walk straight up like that. You don't want to have to do that little jump like I just did. Like that. There, there, there we go. That'll be good. That way I can walk backwards. <coughs> but if you and a friend get together on doing this technique, you can actually collect up a lot of gold wood pretty fast. Uh, in the next video, I will show you the long plank method and we'll get some zombie trees by long planking. That'll be fun. Show you how to take a plank with you to uh, get to areas that you're not supposed to be in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The zombie trees are next. We'll, we'll do that next video. Next. Uh, I'm just going to do two, video, uh, two, two gold trees for now. That should be good. Then we can get those planked out in, uh, into our sorter, our wood sorter. By the way, my uh, subscription to my private server ran out. <gasps> I didn't realize it's pretty expensive, especially when you're trying to do trades and stuff in the background. And yes, I am doing trades. I'm doing uh, item trades and I'm selling things. So you can buy the, uh, what is it, the starry eye, the green starry eyes. I've got those up and sell. Not advertising, just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, a lot of people want to do trades instead of doing uh, the actual, like, purchase sell thing, which I'm down for. It just has to be worth it. Uh, a lot of the trades that people do, they'll give me, like, four or five items for, like, one of my items, and the value of, the, like, those four or five items is not worth the value of the item that I've got. And just so you know, all the items that I've purchased have reasons behind it. I don't, I don't purchase items... For fun, it's usually because they have a significance of some type. Usually, that's because like Tom's hair. I've got Tom's hair for a reason, you know. Um, I sold my Gygax. Uh, hold on, where is it? Oh, right here, right here. So, if I just drop this down like this, woo, like that, I know where that's going to be. In fact, we probably could like walk it over there and do some other stuff, but. Uh, long story short, I'm gonna go back this way. I'm gonna grab this one. Pull it up behind me. Okay, maybe I'm gonna jump down and grab it first. <laughs> uh, okay, drop that in there like that. I'm just gonna turn around. I'm going to drag this up like that. Nice and easy. And off we go. Now notice that the music hasn't has not changed. Hasn't gone back to the Savannah Sierra sound. Boom! There we go. So if you needed to see where that is, that's where the the little hole is, the cave, the exit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now my truck is over here in this little back area, so I can jump down here. And as long as I'm careful and I don't hit right here, I can jump down here. We. This is a pretty significant way to get some money, too. I mean, as far as, like, gold run. You do it fast enough, you can make some good money. It's not bad. I think I'm going to get rid of my shoulder cat. I don't, I don't like him anymore. And he's kind of buggy. He's like, meow, meow, meow. What do you think? Put a vote down below. Give me a comment. Um, yes, get rid of whiskers for tucks, or no, keep whiskers. I need I need to know your opinion of Mr. Cat. I've noticed a lot of the big names, a lot of the big brands, they've got some kind of uh, significant sidekick, but they, they communicate with them and talk to them. I don't I don't even talk to my cat anymore. Well, this this cat. I don't have a cat in real life. I've got a dog. And down we go. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. Just leave it where it's at. In case somebody else wants to use it or whatnot. 
Go over here. So as far as um, getting to the swamp and getting the woods and stuff that you want right now, you can absolutely do it with a, uh, a silver axe, a truck, and uh, some good old willpower. Like there's there's no need for a a special um, uh, what's it a bridge or the ability to flip your car or do the glitches like I do. I know I know I do that a lot, and I always forget that sometimes. Like you're on a controller, or sometimes you just you don't have the dexterity to do the same thing, which, you know, I understand. I did the same thing. I was at the same level. Everybody starts somewhere. Hold on, can I chop a little bit closer here? Oh, I think that's gonna have a nub on it. I don't think I chopped it close enough. Yep, yeah, little nub on that thing. Oh, well, that's fine. Just fill up the truck. We'll take it back, make some money. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not going to sell it off. We're, we're going to put it into storage and probably build with it eventually at some point. And I thought about something. All right, if you were to create, like, say, three of every blueprint um, of every type of wood, right? You wouldn't have to have loose wood on your base. See, so when you go to build something, you would have everything that you needed, and it would reduce lag. Because with, oh, <laughs> I saw that right there, looking up at the top, and I'm like, who is standing on top of that mountain? No, it's, it's my ladder. Uh, if you were to have one of each of the items made out of the each of the woods, you wouldn't have to store loose wood on your base, which would greatly reduce lag. Um, because it is the loose items, such as gifts, um, axes uh, stuff like that that's what's that's what's loose on the base oh gosh come on we're at 12 minutes I might ha just have to run this back come on God why are you doing 15 minutes well because I have to get um, all my videos recorded and out to you guys um, and have enough time to spend at least at least an hour a night doing something New and exciting. I, I'm not going to announce anything yet, but uh, I, I will say that it does involve my time. So that's one thing that I've always complained about, not having enough time, you know? Not enough time to do things. One, one thing, I, I used to record seven days out of the week, and it was two to three videos per day. And I got into editing, and that got chopped down to like one hour a day. I started editing my videos. And then I thought, you know, why am I editing to reduce the amount of video that I do? And spending, like, I'd spend one hour recording to get 15 minutes that I'd have to edit for three hours. And re-render and re-upload and everything else. So, I mean, there was no point to it anymore. I was just like, you know what? Don't edit. People still enjoy your content code. I was like, yeah, we do. And by this point, I mean, if you're a new subscriber and you didn't know that I don't edit at all, everything I do is, is pretty much live. So even the, um, the at the very beginning, the intro that you saw, live. I started recording, played the intro. Like, <laughs> oh gosh, we're at, 13, we're at 14 minutes. I've got one minute to decide. Oh no. Let's get it in there. Get it in there. Get it in there. Come on, come on, come on. Woo. All right, can we open that? Thank you. Boink, boink. Drag it up. Come on. There they go. Oh, get in there, get in there. Good deal. Not bad, not bad. A good little run. So again, huge shout out to Hearn for the idea and for giving me uh, something to do tonight. And when we come back, we will do um, zombie wood as well. And I mean, I don't have to stick around. You guys know what what happens next. 
that goes up this conveyor belt, goes around to the little sorter thingy, and then it's gonna get over here to the, the gold wood, and it's gonna kick it off inside there, and boom, we are done. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, doing these fast 15 minute videos. Oh, I went over, dang it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. Love you guys very much. Sorry for the shortness. I, I mean, I understand the frustration about it, but I've got to get these done. Uh, there's something very important and pressing that I've got to do. Love you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.